we should all trust science, right? Well, not blindly. A scientist would never do that. Scientists are very picky with words, for instance. I hate when people confuse noise with distortion because distortion doesn't have to be random. Distortion is broken information. Unlike noise, distortion is only produced when you send a message. And also, scientists only really trust science that they can validate with measurements. I'm Ricardo Figueiredo from Aveiro, and I measure distortion in radio communication. My problem is how to build trust on broken information. You might be wondering, is it even possible to distinguish this distortion from the true message? Well, yes, it is, with silence, radio frequency silence. Imagine, I have my full speech. What if I remove a part of it and made an abrupt pause? This would be awkward. And just like us, radios fill awkward silences with their distortion, allowing you to measure it apart from signal. But this is not enough to trust broken information because this only works as long as radios can memorize your message. Otherwise, distortion varies depending on how they remember it, forcing you to measure both distortion and memory. To do this, some have suggested having several moments of silence, assuming that each of these pauses would capture our radius remember specific parts of the message. But I have shown that this is not a good idea because now, depending on where you pause, for instance, here or here, the way the message is remembered changes. Pauses interfere with each other. It is better to use a single pause and move it along your message every time you send it. This measures each part of the message correctly, accounting for both memory and distortion. By improving these distortion measurements, I am actually building scientific trust and allowing better communication. But please, don't just take my word for it. Take some measurements. That is the way scientists trust each other. Thank you.